Hey, I really like your outfit. Oh, thanks so much. Oh my god, I just stuck to a girl! Oh, look, bro, we ran a train on this nice young lady, right? But this one your typical train, you feel me? It was me, the, it was me, the girl, and my homeboy girl, like, like she a stud. You feel what I'm saying? So it was a little different. Bro, come on! Cause I ain't never ran a train, anyways. I, honestly, I wouldn't. But you know, technically, these two girls, I just let. You know what I'm saying? When we get back to my house, right? One thing lead to the next, you know, all the energy, low vibrational, so y'all in here, Nick. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you know, the bop go to bopping, right? That was easy. Why she bopping me out to the, I look to the left. My stud friend over there, Nicky, with a scrap on. I'm talking about, With a plastic meat, bro. <laughs> Real talk. Like, what she bring that to the party for? But never mind. Anyway, I start, I continue to get the bop from the bop, right? So, you know, put the condom on, go to slide from the back type shit, right? I'm hitting from the back, right? Stud friend gonna walk in front of us. And put a scrap on her mouth. Bruh, chill. Bro, on top of that, the girl starts sucking the scrap. And you won't believe what happened next, bro. Swear to God, bro, I looked across across from me. My stood friend over there like this. Mm. Emotional damn it. Oh, what is she doing? What is she doing? This shit throwing me off. I'm like, she over there acting like she really feel this. I started, I started really laying meat down just so she can't even pretend no more. I laid meat down, right? The girl, she grabbed the scrap with her hand because, you know, like, you know, like when you go too deep, a girl just go to, you know, she can't really suck no more, right? She grabbed the scrap with her hand. This is how I know she don't feel nothing, bro. Because while she, I, I go harder, the girl ain't even sucking no more. She's still over there like this. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. I tell My disappointment is immeasurable. I tell her, I say, bro, look. She said, what? I said, bro, take the scrap off. She was like, what you mean? I said, you finna get at this point. Like, cause you over here pretending. Now my stud friend, the same person be telling me people be faking the Holy Ghost. But you could pull out a meat that was not attached to you before you attached it to you and pretend like you can feel it, man. Daddy, chill. I said, hold on, bro. This too delusional for me. So the girl gonna stop, right? Then she gonna say, what? I said, bro, look, you, come on, you pretending to suck dick, bro. And you pretending to feel it. How about we put this away and I I'm a stud friend gonna get mad and try that golf too, bro. You got no, 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 no. man, bro. Shut up. You smack that. I don't want to hear that tonight. How? How did they think that was okay to even put it in the game? She didn't know what to do, but she did it. Oh my mom, she been feminine and worse than hell since then. I had to block. Her. We ain't friends no more. I call my phone to my dude. Well, I don't fuck with niggas, bro. So I'm telling them on the phone. I'm like, bro, you really getting out of hand? You tripping? She gonna say you was my first, bro. Now her voice getting a little feminine. This shit. She gonna tell my. You been acting real distant since we did it though. I was like, bro, I ain't been acting distant. You just been clingy. She was like, okay, I stop being clingy. Bro, her voice was cracking, bro. I say, I say, I say, alright, we still cool. She was like, yeah, we cool, but I can we fuck time at least? I'm like, oh, ew, dude, what the fuck? Like, right, bro, another day on ties. She so much kid talk to anyway. I'm like, yeah, this for your woman. Ah, shit. Here you go again. Is this how you guys are getting down these days? Yo, remember, say, not every woman you have access to, you should be accessing. And make sure you protect yourself at all times. Just wait for the cops. You started driving at me, so I stopped. You can't drive for shit, you Started driving at me, so I stopped. You drove the front of your car into mine. You drove the front of your car into mine. Here's the cops. Here's the cops. Well, I'm pressing Stop charges now. Oh. Stop! You can't press charges. I'm pressing charges. You're recording me without my permission, bitch. It's illegal. I'll do whatever I want. Knock it off. Bruh, yep. Stop recording me, bitch. Stop recording me, bitch. You just hit my phone. Stop you just hit my phone. These hands is bisexual. I go from turning them punches to. Stop hit my phone. She just spit on me. She hit my phone. She hit my car. Yo, I and I don't know how the accident happened, but all me know say all the emotion this lady was giving off is not good. 
You cannot be going around slapping people, spitting in people's face because you're angry. See? It's over here, sir. In the lion den, we believe in equal rights and equal left. We believe in defending ourselves. You know the man is stronger than you. Do not attack someone who you know is stronger than you. But because the world we live in, women believe that them can do whatever they want and get away with it. Yo, that time is coming to an end. Hey man, take care, man. You wanna race? Hell nah. The cops right there, man. Damn! Oh my god! Don't ask me why. But the how is me and my girls went to a concert in Houston, Texas. We was like, what are we gonna do afterwards? So my girl was like, yes, let's go get some hookah. She knows somebody that's somewhere where we can go get some hookah. We end up at a club slash lounge. I don't know what, what was going on. It was in a shopping center. We get in the section, some people that she knows. So the section is very crowded. This is typical. It's probably like 10 girls, five guys in one little section. One of the guys who's sitting down, mind you, like, like I said, there was 10 girls, but this man is sitting down, keeps on nudging, bumping everybody, tapping every girl, like, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, dance, get up and dance, twerk. Like, what? Are you crazy? You must be crazy. First of all, the section is so crowded, you can't move. And it's not like anyone else is standing up in section. No one is standing up and no one around us is standing up. All the other sections are sitting down. We're all still like having a good time, drinking, taking shots. Girls are dancing in their seat. But the dude is getting upset. He is angry, babe, like mad. He wants the girls to stand up and the girls are not standing up. He's demanding that the girls stand up. Nobody was worried about him. Nobody cared about what he had to say. So he tells the other guys in the section that the girls need to stand up or they gotta go. Ooh, y'all. I, I, I have no words. I, I have no words for this type of male behavior. Like, are you crazy? The whole situation was crazy and a call for it. First of all, you're not a gentleman. You're not a gentleman. <laughs> So for a woman to be in your section, she needs to be dancing and twerking. Isn't that what you would go to the strip club for? And I'm a hater. This is not about twerking. This is about consent. The best thing about twerking is the choice. You don't tell me when to shake my ass. I, I decide when to shake my ass. That is true. You decide when to shake them cheeks, but guess what? He's paying for your drinks and you in his lounge, his rules. If you don't want to twerk in this lounge, then you leave the lounge. It's simple as that. Hey, it's a free world, my lady. Do what you want, and he'll do what he wants. Simple as that. And stop complaining upon YouTube. Plus, you know, say, if that man was the type of man you want and find attractive, you would have twerk on the table naked. But anyway, say strain. His money, his rules. We ain't got to wait for them ready. Damn. 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 There you go. Go. One day, the student will become the teacher. Is that him? Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Did you say that my daughter is rude? Yeah, I did. She gave me the finger. Well, I wouldn't have done that if he wasn't being a slow asshole. Oh, I'm beating your ass. Are you serious, Amelia? <laughs> Well, listen, whether she's whether she gave you the finger or not, then maybe you should have gotten out of her way. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm old. I'm kind of slow. So that means that you get to tell her she's rude? Well, she's rude. She's rude. But she's not rude. She's only seven. Well, I thought she was being rude. But were you in her way? Probably. So don't you think that maybe you don't own the store just because you're driving a cart? I think that you think all this is funny and it's not funny, sir. Well, I'm her elder and she needs to show me a little respect. Well, maybe you need to not think that you own the store because you're driving a cart. No wonder these kids nowadays don't have a darn bomba clot manners. It's the parents, Bridget. The parents are the problem. Ladies, if you're watching this if your son brought home a woman like you, would you want him to be with her? And 90% of y'all say no. 
If your son brought home a woman who want him to spend three hundred dollars on a meal, who want him to pay all the bills, who want him to sit up and take her out every single weekend, who want him to sit up and 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 pay for every single thing, ninety percent of y'all women sit up and say, "Son, go find a woman that really like you for you." But guess what? You want a man <laughs> well, that work. do all of those things <laughs> for work. you. Come on, man. Ninety yeah. yeah. percent of these women want a man who. To, to them in their mind is immorally wrong, immorally wrong for them. Right. right. I'm saying true. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these women want a father. Want a father. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I'm not your father. Come on, man. The, the 90% of these women want a man who sit up and, and is an idiot. But if they son brought home a woman that was like them, that they'll be telling their son, look at son, you need to go find you somebody else. That woman don't want you to do much spend your money. That's some facts, my brother. These same women, they want the money from the man them, but the man them can't tell them nothing. They won't take care of the man. See, that can't work, sister. And you know one of the other problem is, some of these ladies raise them young son to be the man that they want. Basically, to be a simp, to be a provider, and expecting nothing from a woman in return. They have been raised by single mothers who don't know nothing about being men. And they come out into this world and screw up the next generation of men. I mean. Yeah, what do you mean when a, a dude block you on everything? Like, I'm talking about he don't leave, like, not one. He don't leave not one app. And he changed his number. Like, I'm trying to see. Really from a male perspective, but the girls, too. Like, what y'all interpret that is? Like, what, what y'all get from that when he do that? I'm asking for a friend. We're trying to see. Because I ain't really understanding. My sister said... What my sister say? My sister said they gotta do that when they basically gotta force they self not to talk to you. Like they gotta block you on everything so that they they can't talk to you. But what y'all think? That man don't wanna have nothing to do with you, lady. See? And probably he told you that as well. And you keep bothering him, you keep calling him, you keep trying to get with him, and he's telling you no, and you're not listening. So what does he have to do? He must block you, lady. See? Must get rid of you, block you completely. Move out the neighborhood because he doesn't want to be around you anymore because you're like a stalker type of woman. That's the reason, my lady. See? Learn from your experience. I'm not saying I am wearing a cross. You're, you're wearing a cross. Yes. Do you consider yourself a Christian? I believe in God. Let me ask you a question. Do you wear your cross while you're engaging in producing porn or OnlyFans content? I always wear my cross. You always wear your cross. I okay, never take so it off. Do you think that God approves of you doing porn, basically? Yeah, it's not hurting anybody. I do it very safely. Do you think God wants you making porn? God said that he loves everyone. Okay, I have a question. If God wants you to be a porn star, what do you think Satan wants? To stop doing what I do? I guess. S what? Satan wants you to not do porn and God uh. wants you to do porn. If I have, do I have that right? Yeah. Looks like she's reading the new type of Bible, the modern day, modern woman type of Bible. <laughs> I swear it needs to be studied how quickly a man change after he gets some. It needs to be studied because like, it's like two different personalities. Like before the man get it, he's a whole different type of man. Similar to what I was talking to y'all about before. It's like they be so eager. They want to talk to you. It's like, oh my gosh, like they want it like hungry dogs. So they would do anything just to get it. Just for after when after they get it, they they a whole different person. Now all of a sudden they ain't interested. It's ill, like ill, like ugh, like I'm bothering you. Like what? That's why it's very important, very important for women to keep their stuff to themselves. These a lot of these men don't deserve that cat, okay? Because the switch up needs to be studied and it's given mental it's given mental issues. Like because how are you two different people? Like two different people and a lot of times us women we not like that if we give it to you we're the same person before we gave it to you we're the same person not to be give it to you but it's something in these men heads that click once they get it and they are no longer the same person they was before and it's scary so i advise women to just keep that cat to yourself girl keep it to yourself because these men don't deserve it yo my lady it's not that the man them don't deserve the punani scene it's just that you need to understand the nature of the men out here the men are ruled by testosterone a man who see a nice girl him like, a sexy girl, him want to get some. So you as a sexy girl now have to ask yourself, am I going to give it up to this man because he's the type of man I like? Or are you going to wait and see if there's something more to the relationship? Most of you out there, you give it up. When the man turns around and say, 
he's gone, don't want to see anymore, you get upset. So what do you expect from him? To stick around? No, my lady. If you want to keep him, understand that if you give up the cheeks too early, it's going to be, in most cases, it's going to be to your detriment. So act accordingly. You didn't go to my wedding, but you came to my divorce, huh? So what? I want to see you happy. Yo, my lions, this right here is what true joy is like. The real joy that a man wants in his life. His wife, his empress, and his lovely children that he can come home to at evening time, look into her beautiful eyes or his eyes, give him a hug and kiss and say, I love you. And hear her or he say, Daddy, I love you. Father, I love you. That's real joy right there, Bridget. See? My lions, this is what you should be striving for in your life. See? No, hold tight. I ain't I gonna get it. <laughs>